Hi and welcome to Agent Republic. I'm Suzanne King and Claudio and Sina. Woohoo! And today we're going to be talking about how do you set your day up for success? Because we often get asked this because days get busy. So Claudio, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking start with the 5am club. Yes, definitely. <laughs> That's good. On Facebook, you can join us. I know we're pushing it out there, but we love it. And we'd love for you to join us every morning at five o'clock. But getting back to the real question, okay? Yeah. So, Well, it is partly that. Like yeah. the 5am club's a good way to start. Okay, like so it. setting up day for success. For me, it's all about um, having rhythm, ritual, routine. Oh, you know? the three R's. Yeah, the three R's. Did for you me, plan that? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, that was natural. <laughs> but for me, it's like getting up at the same time every day. I think mm. that, that's really, really important, number one. Number two, I think exercise is really important to get the blood <laughs> flowing and get moving and it get in, into a bit of a groove, right? Um, if it's me, I, I get back and I like to sort of get into a bit of meditation. Mm -hmm. and I think that's really helped me. For the last 18 months to two years, I've been practicing meditation for about 10 to 15 minutes yep. a day. And I tell you what, I just zone out and I'm in my space. And it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's some great apps that you can download on, on iTunes Fana. and iPhone, etc., yep. that you can, you know, to, to meditate. And I use them all the time. That's uh, the second thing. And then the third thing is, I ask myself a question. Yes. Uh, my question is, what is my purpose today? I actually mm. write that question down, and then I literally write things that I want to achieve today. And then I just start going one by one, which is going to be the mo most priority. That's how I sort of start to set up my day. Mm. And then that gets me into the, the sort of the, the frame of mind and, and, the, and, and the brain juices start going into overload, and I get excited about the whole exactly. day of what I want to achieve. But when I'm putting some of those things, what is my purpose today? It also involves my family. Of course. Okay? Involves work. And it could be involved some personal stuff as well. So don't always just think it's always what's my purpose today, just business. You know, we always talk about work-life balance, but you know, you hear about well, work-life integration, it's right? It's integration. Yeah. So that's that's my tip around, you know, how to set yourself up for success. Now, successful here's day. the thing that I love. Oftentimes we can come and watch shows like this and we're looking for tips and strategies on what works. But I know that Claudio has trialed and tested all these different ways. You know, some people get up and they'll do a cold water shower challenge. Other, I know, we did that this <laughs> yes, morning. Um, some people will do that. Other people will meditate. Other people will drink tea. Other people will jump up and down and listen to crazy music. Some people like to check their social media before they get out of bed. Some people like to exercise. Some people don't. The story is, and this is why I wanted to do this video, is sometimes we can look to experts and say, oh, this is how Claudio sets his day up. I better set my day up like that, but it might not work for you. So my big tip on this on how to set your day up for success is think about a day that has been absolutely brilliant for you, where you've just sort of hit the ground running, you feel you're in your stride, and then reverse engineer back. Say, so, okay, well, what did I do that morning? You know, it could be, I actually did. I got up and I went for a beautiful walk. I practiced gratitude. I meditated, whatever those things are for you. For others, it might be, you know what? I got in the car, pumped up the music and got myself to work. And then when I was in the office, I wrote down all my goals. For some guys, it could be journaling. So the big thing is, what I'd love you to do is rather than look for like a guru, which I'm so anti, <laughs> rather than look for a guru, why don't you become your own guru? So why don't you say, okay, what is gonna set me up for success? What really empowers me? And then start small. Have a small ritual because I know even for myself, when I was working for Tony Robbins, we did these hour of power every single morning. And um, you know, when I was at Arica sharing this, like after a couple of weeks of doing that, I was like almost pulling my hair out because I was like, that's not me. That works for some people, it didn't work for me. I didn't wanna do those things. So what I did is I set, took a step back and I said, hey, what works for me? And I needed it to be short. So my morning ritual is 15 minutes. I like it nice and fast. Yes, I turn up to the gym, gym. Yep. and I do 5 a.m. club, but then I have my own personal ritual um, that I do right before I set in with clients. So what I'd love you to do is think about you, first yeah. and foremost, think about your best day, and then write down three things maximum that you can do to start your day and then test it for two weeks and then tweak and change after two weeks. Perfect, love yep. it, love it. And you know what the funny thing is, I don't think Richard Branson, Suzanne, wakes up and says, I want to be Tony Robbins. No, <laughs> he wants to be him. That's it, and yes. you want to be you. Yes. And that's the whole thing. Because you don't want to be us like us gurus. What, <laughs> I get up at four o'clock every morning, which is crazy. But it's so not going to work for you, or it's not going to be Suzanne sometimes, but it does work for me. Yep. It's discovering yourself, of setting yourself up for success. Definitely. So we would love to hear how you start your day. So make sure you post in the comments below how you start your day and why that works for you because maybe somebody else can have a look because there's nothing wrong with looking at other people for inspiration. But again, make sure it's true to you. So post in the comments below what you do to set your morning up for success. Loved our video today. 
Remember, join us on our social platforms. We'll see you soon.